All right. Looks like we're live both places. We're all three, really. Good evening, everybody. It is Friday, and we have had a new spring piece come in. So we have a lot of new spring pieces for you to look at tonight. <sighs> Looks like the bandwidth is a little bit low again tonight. So hopefully it won't stop and start too much for you or freeze on you. We'll do the best we can with it. They've been building a bunch of new houses around us, and so they've been messing with our internet lately. So, hi, Diane. Good to see you. So, hopefully, they will stop building houses soon, or they will get the internet thing straightened out, and we won't have as many problems anymore. Hi, Mom. Thanks for sharing. All right. So, lots and lots of new pieces. We've had three orders come in this week. So quite a few new things. As a reminder, tomorrow night is Fashion Fix Ordering Night. So if you wanted one of those fashion fixes, if you've made up your mind at the last minute, make sure you message me tomorrow or tonight and let me know what you want. Or if you even want just some of the pieces to it, because I will need to order those. I need to have the final numbers by about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night. So that I have time to add them up and know how many of each thing that I need to order. So about 10 p.m. tomorrow night, fashion fix orders need to be in. Uh, Life of the Party orders, I've shared those um, pictures with you in the group. I will also be posting those on my Facebook and Instagram pages, as well as a little video on YouTube with those pieces in it. So those need to be in on the 14th, which is 11 days from now. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for sharing. So everybody wants the dragonfly necklace, right? Isn't that cool? It was an Empire Diamond piece, which is one of our really high-level consultants. Um, and when they get to that point, they get to design a piece of their own and release it. But it only releases to their team, which is why it was not available for me to order. But one of my very nice friends um, orders from one of those ladies occasionally, and she got me one to share with you. So that will be our share prize for tonight. So everybody that shares and guests will be entered to win that beautiful dragonfly necklace. If you haven't seen a picture of it, it's on the Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram pages. You can go take a look at it really quick. It's a multicolored iridescent piece, a round pendant with kind of a lacy edging on it and a little dragonfly, and the earrings are little dragonflies. Hi, Marlo. You're dancing into Friday. I tell you what, Friday started rough today. <laughs> we won't go into all that, but it was a rough Friday. I am glad it is almost over. Hi, Ruth. At least it ended early. So my work day started really early. So it ended really early too. I was done at home by about what, 10 or 10 30 max? Yep, I was home at eight. Yeah, about 10 or 10 30. Max got home at eight and we started at the same time. So that tells you a little bit about my day. Um, okay. Yeah, it was an interesting one. And then I slept till one because right, so I was exhausted. Decided, decided Diane on, um, no, and she's not there anymore. Okay. So she came in and out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If anybody wants this piece, we have one more of these left. It was called lock down my heart. This is an iridescent heart. It is a little bit asymmetrical, not exactly symmetrical on both sides has that snake type chain on it. You can see it reflects all the different colors. I love my iridescent things. So, and I love hearts. So there we go. So that one is going to be our first piece for tonight. There's one more of these left. Lock down my heart in multi is number one. So I'm just going to put that card right there. Let me move my cup full of pens so I can put things up here for Matt. Hi. Let's see. Violet's not on mine yet, but, but Max says he sees you. So hi, Violet. Yeah, make sure you let me know because, again, it, I think it's the internet. It's just it's popping in really slow on my side. He can see you sometimes before I do. So don't be offended if I don't greet you right away. He's going to let me know that you're there. All right, next up, number two. I did just get one of these pairs in. I meant to order more of these, and somehow I don't know what happened with the order, but I only got one pair, and that's all they charged me for, so I guess that's okay. These are Bodacious Ballroom in white. So these are really cute little circles with white rhinestones. These are on the tiny hoops. Aren't those cute? We have a little bit of sparkle on the bottom of these tiny hoops. This is the size. 
So I'm wearing like the half inch hoops. So you can see they're the same size, but with the little piece hanging down off the bottom. So these are Bodacious Ballroom in white. They are number two. Just one pair of those. All right. Next up, we have a stretchy brass bracelet, which we don't get that often. Little brass rhinestones in the center. So those tone on tone rhinestones, these look like little wheels or coins. In fact, it's called forgotten treasure. So I guess they're going for the coin motif, stretchy bracelet, three rows of those little coins. I do have two of these. So this is called forgotten treasure in brass. It's one of the nicer looking brass bracelets I've seen. So that is number three, two of those available. Number four. So you guys are going to get to see all the good stuff before everybody else comes in. Isn't that great? It pays to be early. This one is called Garden Greetings in Multi. So these are little flower discs. Let's see. Yep, there we go. It focused in with rhinestones in the center of them. But all different colored rhinestones. I'm going to turn it around so I can tell you what colors those are. And then the earrings are the little yellow rhinestones. Let's see, we have orange, the Caribbean blue, hot pink, yellow, uh, dark purple, a dark, it looks like that's a bluish green, and one iridescent, white iridescent. So that's what those look like. Let's put it on our model here. She's a much better model than I am. Let's see. All right. So that is just below her collar, about half an inch below her collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down right here to mid chest. I know the light's kind of reflecting off of that. I have four of these. This is called Garden Greetings in Multi. And it is number four. Four of number four. It happens that way a lot. And I do not plan that. I promise. Number five. There is just one of these left. I ordered three and two of them sold out before I could even get it on the show. I didn't even have them in yet. And they sold out. So this is called I Bead You Now. So we have the tan, the peachy, and the aqua beads. These are semi-transparent. They do have little milky strands in them. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Three layers with the silver spacers. And then our earrings are the little tan beads. It's a nice mix of neutrals and our pretty spring colors. This one sits right at the collar. And then our last one is almost to mid chest with the two inch extension. It's going to sit right here. So just below mid chest, which is going to put the rest of the necklace at mid chest. Let's see, where's my hand sanitizer? There we go. And I keep that around because it is allergy season and everything itches and we're sneezing and it's all those wonderful Bradford pear trees. They're beautiful, but they smell bad and they kill our allergies. So this is called I Bead You Now in Multi. And it is number five. Just one of those left. All right, let's go right into our first question. Give you a chance to get some answers in before everybody else comes in. One, two, three, four, five. I think all these have five answers tonight. So let's go with number three on this one. If you got stuck in the desert, what would you want to have with you? You got stuck in the desert. What would you want to have with you? Aha, there everybody popped in. Hi, Aunt Dora. Good to see you. Water was number one, of course. Got to have water in the desert, right? Phone was number three. So mom got that one. 
that one popped in. Sunscreen wasn't on there, but that is a great idea because I'm going to be burned in like 10 seconds out there. I won't even have to worry about food and water. I'll be dying of sunstroke. GPS would be good, but I guess if you have a cell phone, we'll have that. Food was number two. Not an umbrella, but that's a good idea. An air conditioner. I can just see you lugging that out in the desert with you, Shannon. <laughs> I hope you're going to put it on a trailer or a cart or something, so you know. Shannon, the, the, take a car door and roll the window down. So <laughs> Max says you can take a car door with you and just roll the window down. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Two more things. What other things would you want to have with you if you're stuck in the desert? Hat. Not a hat, but that's a good idea, too. You guys have some good answers. They were thinking a little bit, maybe more creatively than that. <laughs> I don't know if it's really creatively, but they're not your typical answers. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, laughing, Shannon. Yeah, he knows. That's an inside joke. Uh, yep. Okay. You don't know why you'd know this stuff, Mom? <laughs> yeah, go bag. Go bag is always good. It's got yeah. lots of good stuff in it. Yeah, Shannon, shame on her. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, he said shame on you. I'm not going to say shame on you because I think you got him good this time. Shoes. I hope you have your <laughs> shoes on because otherwise your feet are probably burnt already. <laughs> that was good. I like that was good. <laughs> think about Tom Hanks on his, his deserted island. What did he have with them? He made his own, but something you'd like to have with you. Because otherwise you're going to get bored, right? You have something to do. Not a ball. But he made the ball into this. Not a soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, no. Because as soon as you kick it in the ocean, you're done. <laughs> a friend. Yeah. Yeah, a friend. You got to be entertained. Marlo and I, we could keep each other going. We won't even care if we get rescued. <laughs> friend was number five. And how about a way out of there? What are you going to find in the desert or might have in the desert that will help you get out of there? A car or a taxi. <laughs> Spencer says a taxi. <laughs> I don't know who's calling the taxi in the desert, but if you have a cell phone, I guess that's an option. You can always call Uber. <laughs> they have an answer for everything, these girls. How are you going to get out of the desert? Please do not say boat or we cannot be friends anymore. A bike. Well, that's going to get bogged down in the sand pretty fast. Good idea, but it's going to get bogged down. Plus, it's going to make you really hot. How else are you going to get out? I mean, this is something you'd probably find in a desert, just depending on which desert you're in. Fairly typical desert type stuff. Right. Motorcycles, good. I've seen them riding on the sand dunes with those motorcycles. No, the answer is a camel. You can use your camel to get out of there. And hopefully he's not named Clyde. An ATV, that's a good one too. Yeah, now Max is making camel sounds over here. We should not have said that. All right, let's move on before he... Gets too Ray carried Stevens. away here. Yeah, Ray Stevens. I grew up with Ray Stevens, so, they're, you know, yeah. Gimmel name Clyde. All right, look at this gorgeous blue. A very bright blue. These are a dewy bead in teardrop shapes. These are called Send the Bright Message. Of course, because they're a bright blue. So we have those bright blue dewy beads and then these are a hammered frame so we have a hammered teardrop and then these little arches around those blue i love this blue so pretty unless you already have some <laughs> <laughs> this is the size so i have two of these um i believe these are still available to order so if we need more than two i can get some more they were earlier today so these are number six send the bright message in blue Two of those. Such a pretty, pretty blue. 
All right, this one we just have one of. So if you're a pearly girl, here you go. This is Fifth Avenue A-Lister. I like the asymmetrical design of this necklace in every color that we've had it in. This one is in the silver. So we have the light gray pearly beads over here, the darker gray pearly beads over here, and one shiny polished silver bead in the center. The earrings are the darker colored gray. This is the length. So this is about how it's going to hang. It needs to be warmed up so that it'll hang evenly, but this is how it will hang. With the two inch extension, it is going to come down beneath that collar, but it's not going to make it to center chest. This is definitely an upper chest necklace. So we have just one of these Fifth Avenue A Lister in silver. Really classy looking necklace. It is number seven. So what's everybody going to do this weekend? I'm going to pick up a free hot tub. And we got to do some cleaning. But I get the hot tub in order to, uh, in exchange for cleaning. I'm sure that's how that works. Max is going to pick me up a hot tub and I'm going to clean. It's kind of how that works out. Stay inside. Yeah, it's still cold up there, right? Recuperate. Yep, I'm going to try a little bit of that too. I don't know if there's enough recuperating in the whole world, but we'll try. This is a really pretty one. I've only got one of these. I'm waiting for this to come out in other colors because it's gorgeous. This is called Mayan Masterpiece. You come in to sit in the hot tub, you go right ahead. I'll let you know when it's ready. So these are brown teardrop beads with gold leaf in them. They're in hammered gold frames. I'm hoping they bring those out in the blue. Do you remember the blue earrings that I had? Um, I think it was two months ago as, a, as an exclusive in my fashion fix box. They're blue with this gold leaf in them and gold frames. They would, this necklace would be gorgeous in that blue. The earrings are the little teardrops with the gold leaf in them. Did I tell you the name, Max? Mm -hmm. Mayan Masterpiece. So this one is half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down to mid chest. But this is a really nice neutral. You wear it with your tans and beiges and browns. And it will look really nice. Mayan Masterpiece. In brown. And it is number eight. Number nine. Number nine is Beaming Bling in blue. I actually bought a couple extra of these for Taylor and Spencer because they're so cute. It's that pretty bright blue beads with silver spacers. And then we have a cute little silver happy face down here at the bottom. Our earrings are the little stacks of blue. Hi, Caroline. Little stacks of blue. So we have our happy face and we have our blue beads. I'm trying to stick my finger behind that so that, there we go. So this they tipped right. How have you been doing? This one is hanging right there at that collar, right above the collar. With the two inch extension, it's going to sit here. So it is going to be an upper chest necklace. This one is called Beaming Bling. In blue. That's hard to say. Good thing I said it slow. It is number nine. Two of those available. You've been crazy busy. I can relate. It has been crazy busy. Let's see. This one's number 10. So let's do this because I have a necklace in the earrings that I want to show, but I want to show them back to back because they're really close in color. And so some people may want to put them together. So this is called Pristine Pixie Dust in green. This is a set of stretchy bracelets. There are five stretchy bracelets. So this is, let's see. I don't know what we're calling this green this season, but this is like the basil green that we had last season. So we have three bracelets that are just silver beads in different sizes. We have one that is mostly the donut shaped green beads. And then this one alternates with the smaller green beads and the smaller silver. So I have two sets of these bracelets. This is pristine pixie dust in green. 
And they're going to be number 10 tonight. All right. Let us go ahead and ask the next question. Please, ladies, don't forget to let me know if you have shared so that we can put you in the drawing for that share prize because that dragonfly necklace is really, really pretty. So five answers. Let's go with number two. Name a decision that people don't make lightly or shouldn't make lightly. It says don't make lightly, but you know, some people rush into anything, so don't think it through. So a decision that people don't make lightly. Buying a house, number three. Marriage was number one. Hopefully you thought that one through. Children. Children was number four. So we've got buying a house. We've got getting married. We have having children. What other things? A job, number five. Yeah, I want to think that one through because it can affect a lot of things. What other thing might you think really want to think through before you do it? Not a pet, but that's a good idea. And so is buying a car because that can cost you a lot of money in the long run if you make the wrong decision. Friends. Friends is a good one. Not on there, but friends is a good one. It's related to marriage. So number one and number two were kind of related. What other decision might you really want to think about? Not moving, but that's a good one too. Want to count that cost, right? You know what you're doing. A divorce. Yeah. So Ruth got that one. Really want to think that one through. Buying a ring. Oh, it, yeah, that's important, but we can always replace a ring. Yeah, a ring's eh, lower on the scale. It probably would have gone on there if there had been more answers. All right, next up. Okay, we're going to start with the necklace. This is a choker. This is called Neon Lights in yellow. So these are little yellow and they're actually cube shaped beads in that yellow and round silver beads. We have that extra extension that we always get with the chokers. So you're gonna be able to extend it a little bit further. Our earrings are the little stacks of silver and yellow beads. Number 10 to Marlo. This is the length. So true choker length without that extension. With the extension, it's going to sit down about here. So we're still going to be upper chest, but just a little bit above that collar right there. So again, we have two of these. It's going to be neon lights in yellow. That's going to be number 11. I'm going to hang on to this one for just a second because I want to show you these earrings. These are the earrings. See that yellow? Isn't that pretty together? Okay, so now let me give the necklace to Max. That's number 11. The earrings are called Bohemian Beach Blast. And they are actually in green. There we go. Now you can see the colors of green and like a turquoise or aqua blue and the bright yellow. And then little scratch textured discs down below them. These make me ready for warm weather. Forward facing hoops, they're on a fish hook back. This is the length and size. These would be really cute with that little choker. So I have two pairs of these as well. Bohemian Beach Blast is number 12. I did notice that this year, and it's something we've been kind of <laughs> fussing about for years now with paparazzi, they tend to release matching pieces at different times, which makes it really hard to get matching sets or coordinating sets. They don't even have to super be super matchy-matchy, but they are doing a much better job this year and this season of releasing things in similar colors at the same time so that we can pair them up. So I'm really happy that they're doing that. It makes it a lot easier for us and for you. All right, next we have a Southwestern piece. This is called 
country road trip in blue. Look at the little striations on the bottom ones. So these are natural stone. They almost look like little um, melons, don't they? With the little vertical lines or horizontal lines, sorry. So we have those blue crackle stones, the turquoise, bright polished silver beads. And then these silver beads have that linear pattern on them as well. Earrings are the blue round beads. I have three of these called Country Road Trip in blue. This is one of the prettier uh, Southwestern style necklaces that I have seen with the blue crackle stone. I'm not a big Southwestern fan, so that's kind of not my wheelhouse, but I like this one. This one sits down in the middle of the chest with the two inch extension. It is going to sit right down here, just above the bust so we're at the top of the bust. So we have country road trip in blue. Three of these available. It is number 13. And today is the last day of the invoice period. Um, so you have until tomorrow afternoon to add to that because obviously I have to go get a hot tub. So I'm going to be busy tomorrow afternoon, which means you're not in a rush. But um, we'll get those invoices together for you tomorrow afternoon. Marlo wants a 13. I don't know how I would have guessed that, Marlo. I kind of had a feeling you were going to like that. All right, Glacial Glades in purple. This is a nice medium to light purple. These are dewy beads as well in that marquee shape. And then the silver frame. They almost look like little leaves to me in that purple. This is the length and size. We have three pairs of these. Hi, Esli. This is number 14. Three pairs of those glacial blades in purple. And then because we're doing purple, let's go ahead and do the other purple. This is a medium length necklace. This is called Interstellar Illusions in purple. And you can see it's almost like an oil spill. So this is on that fine wire so that it's going to look like a floating necklace. These are little round beads. They're based in purple, but they have that iridescence so that they kind of look like oil spill. Hi, Faye. Good to see you. The earrings are those same beads, a little bit smaller. On a fish hook back, I have two of these. This is why I call it a medium length necklace because it's going to sit right here kind of at the bust. I like this floating necklace design because it's not a heavy chain. It has kind of a low profile, but it's still really pretty. With the two inch extension, it is going to come down here just underneath the bust. So it'll be a, an upper abdomen necklace, or it may be at the bust, depending on how it fits you. This one is called Interstellar Illusions in purple. Two of those available, and it is number 15. And if you're coming in late, don't worry about it. We have all of these new uh, spring pieces and the replays are going to be posted after the show is over. So you can always go back and look at the replay and see if there's anything that you missed. All right. Here's an interesting one. Oh, and Faye, I'm waiting for that purple necklace to come in for you. The purple rhinestone one that you wanted. I did find it for you. So I'm just waiting on that to come in and then I'll bring you your necklaces over. If you want them before, if you want the other two before that, just let me know and I'll bring them over. All right, five answers. Let's do number four. Besides Family Feud, name a TV show with family in its title. Besides Family Feud, name a TV show with family in its title. It does not have to be a newer one. So a couple of these are older ones. Family Matters was number two. All in the Family was number three. Family Guy. That was it, Violet. That was number four. That was the only, I think that's the only one out of these that I have never watched. Family Affair. Family Affair was not on there. Family Ties was number one. So we have Family Ties, Family Matters, All in the Family, Family Guy, 
what other TV show? What other show had family in the title? Do the hand thing, Max. Uh -huh. Do the hand thing. What? Your hand. That, that, that sneaks in here every little while. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay. oh. Hammer's up the top. Okay. Yeah, the Adams family. Hi, Heather. Uh, Adams family. Uh, uh, yep. Now Max is going to do that uh, theme song, uh, too. Uh, 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 He's our live entertainment. I wish I could turn the camera around. You can just watch him. I'll just describe the jewelry and you just watch him. Adam's family was the other one. All right. Next up. This is a pretty color. So this is an aqua blue. I'm not sure what official name that they've given this color for this season. They change them all the time. So kind of an aqua blue, though. These are dewy beads along with white rhinestones to give it a little bit of sparkle. And kind of a flowery cluster. This is called Your Chariot Awaits in blue. The earrings are the little white teardrops to match what's in the necklace. I have two of these. I have a feeling this is going to be a popular color this spring because I've seen a lot of things in this color already. I need to get some clothes that color because I don't have any in this color. So this is the length. It is just below her collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down here to center chest, right about here. That'll be the bottom of it. This is your chariot awaits in blue, and it is number 16. Yeah, isn't it pretty and so springy? It's like a fresh looking color. It reminds me of the beachy rooms, you know, where you see that bluish green with the white and the tan actually almost the color of my room. It's, mine's just a little bit more muted than that. And then I have the, the beigey tan carpet in there. All right. This one is a smaller necklace. So for those of you who like a little bit more dainty, this is called tabloid treasure in purple. So these are a light purple rhinestone with some iridescent rhinestones and little clusters. The earrings, also those little purple rhinestones. I have two of this one. So this one's going to sit right up here along the collar. So see the color right there with the two inch extension or the, the length, sorry, not the color, sitting along the collar. All right, this is the length with the extension. So the extension that's on it. We'll bring it down to here if you use the whole thing. So it's still going to be an upper chest necklace, not going to make it to mid chest. This is called Tabloid Treasure in purple. And it is going to be number 17. We have two of those. Shade, yeah. It's okay. We understand what you mean, Violet. You're good. It wouldn't have anything to do with your name being Violet, would it? All right. We're going to see a similar blue again. This one is in chunky pearly beads. And we have a heart down at the bottom with white rhinestones on it. This one's good for people who have trouble fastening the other type of necklaces. This doesn't have an extension on it because of the type of closure. It has a little toggle clasp, but it's super easy to put on by yourself because it does fasten in the front. And all you have to do is stick this little toggle through that ring. This one's called Color Me Smitten in blue. It has white rhinestone earrings. These are a little bit larger than our typical white rhinestone earrings. This would also look good with the, um, the blockbuster studs that we have. I can't think of the name of them right now, but you all know what I mean. The post earrings in that white. So this one's hanging just below the collar. So it does have a nice length, 
even though you don't have an extension for it. We have two of these. So this is Color Be Smitten in blue, and it is number 18. Number 19. Number 19 is Pinwheel Prairies in yellow. So these are yellow crackle stone in the center. Or a yellow crackle stone bead. I don't know if you can see the marbling. Let's see. I'll cover up my face. Sometimes that helps. You can see the marbling, I guess, in that one. So these are a bright, shiny pinwheel shape with that yellow bead in the center. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and size. So we have pinwheel prairies in yellow, number 19. Two of those. Number 20, I just have one of. This one is called Boastful Blooms in red. It is a ring. All our rings have the stretchy backs, which is nice for when your fingers swell, which mine are right now because it's hot outside. These have the little red enamel flowers with white rhinestones in the center. This has our wider stretchy back, so it gives it a little um, stability to the ring since it's a little larger on the front. This is the size. So this is about what it would look like on a finger. I wear my stretchy rings a lot because especially when it's hot outside, I can't wear my regular rings. This one is number 20. Just one of these available. Okay, sorry, my nose tickles. Again, if you weren't here earlier, it's our Bradford pear tree. It's like right in front of our house and it is blooming, putting pollen everywhere horrible. All right, we're at our last question. Make sure if you have not already told me that you shared that you do tell me that so that we can enter you into the drawing for that beautiful necklace that we have. I don't have it out here with me or I'd show it to you, but it's a dragonfly necklace in an iridescent stone. Hi, Becky. So we're going to draw for that iridescent dragonfly necklace in just a few minutes. And all those that shared as well as guests tonight will be entered into that drawing. Don't worry, you know we're gonna post a replay, Becky. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find a good one for our last one. Here, this one's not too bad. Thank you, Violet. I think we got you down, but I'm not sure. So yeah, it's always, always safer to tell us twice. Yeah, All right, five answers on this one. We are going to take, let's do number four. Name a fruit you can buy dried. Of course, these days there's not many you can't, but you know, a typical fruit that you can buy dried. Pineapple. Pineapple actually didn't make the list, and I'm surprised because that has been around a long time. Bananas were number two. Apricots, number three. And apple was number five. You guys are good guessers. Grapes or raisins, yep, number one. Cranberries. Oh, I love dried cranberries. Yes, the plums or prunes, number four. That was it, Mom. Plums or prunes. I love those. And I have to, it's better if I buy them in the single packs, because if I buy them in the, you know, the big container with where they're all just in there, I will eat them. And that is not a good thing. Mango. I love the dried mango for Faye at Costco one year. I don't know if they still have it. I got the dried mango that was dipped in the dark chocolate and it was so good. Pears. I haven't had dried pears. We have to try that this year, Max. We have two big pear trees. We always have more pears than what we need. I haven't, I haven't tried drying. Yeah, we um, dried watermelon one year. It wasn't last year. 
I think it was a year before. Dried watermelon is really good. Tastes like candy. Tastes like candy. Yeah. So if you've never dried watermelon before, and you don't necessarily need to dehydrate it to do these, there's ways to do it in, in the oven. But if you've never dried watermelon before, it is really good. Spicy mangoes. Ooh, Ashley. It was um, a fruit that you can buy dried, Violet. So we're talking about dried fruit. Canning pears is super easy. Yeah, we tend to make them, um, he does like a stewed pear where sometimes we put a little sugar in it, sometimes we don't, and maybe some cinnamon. And then we put them in freezer bags and freeze them. I like to put them in my oatmeal in the morning. So just scoop out some of those pears and put them in my oatmeal to have fruit in there. And yeah, the granddaughters just love to eat just the pears, just like that. Um, we also made some pear butter out of them one year. What else did we make out of them? Oh, I made pear pie this past year. So you make it like an apple pie, same seasonings and everything. You just use pears. If you're local and you want pears, let me know because <laughs> they're going to be running out our ears pretty soon. Um, what else did we do? We did a pear cake. So um, like an apple cake again. So basically anything you use apples in, you can pretty much use pears in. All right. Dazzling droplets in multi. These are in gold. Aren't they pretty? So we have that blue stone at the bottom, the light blue, and then an iridescent white rhinestone at the top. These are in teardrop shapes. This is the length and size. So we have dazzling droplets in multi. Two pairs of these. They are number 21. And here is a different shade of green in our cat's eye stones. I have not seen the cat's eye in this color very much at all. So we're getting these this summer or spring, spring and summer. I hope we're going to get some necklaces to match these because they're really pretty. This is called cat's eye class in green. Again, we're with that basil green. I don't know what they're calling it this season, but it's basically that basil green that we had last season or last summer. Let's get up close. Teardrop shaped moonstones. And then we have that white rhinestone work around it in the teardrop shape. Yeah, these are gorgeous. This is the length and size. So I really hope they're going to put out a necklace to match this. We have three of these. They are going to be number 22. We've had like the emerald green before in that cat's eye stone or the moonstone, but not that light green. And if you prefer a different type, like a natural stone, these are polished natural stone, also in that same color of green. These are called stone apothecary in green. So top bead or the top stone is like an oval shape and then a chunky kind of a pear shape at the bottom with the paper clip shape in the middle. This is the length and size of these. It's another nice pale green. Stone Apothecary in green is number 23. We have two of those. All right, number 24. Number 24 is a bracelet and I have two necklaces after this. Um, to show with this just in case you want a necklace to match this and i've just ordered earrings also in this color marlo wants a 23. so this is called tropical nirvana in blue this is our wooden bracelet so it's the espresso brown and the blue beads also chunks of the espresso wood they are all stretchy i have two of these bracelets so this is Tropical Nirvana. I have two different necklaces that match this. And like I said, I just ordered earrings in this shade of blue. They'll be in next week. So if you want earrings that match. So this is the first necklace. This is Panorama, a Panama Panorama, sorry, in blue. I have three of these. This one has the bright silver beads along with that blue. So that has a loop and bead closure, which means there's no extension on it. So this is the length right here at the bust. Our bracelet is going to be number 24. 
this necklace is going to be number 25. I'm going to hold on to that bracelet so that I can show the other necklace. So that's our first necklace that would match this bracelet. Number 25, Panama Panorama. And then we have this one. And this has the sliding knot type closure. So this one you can extend or shorten a little bit. This one's called Cozumel Coast in blue. I do just have one of these. So this has like the little jagged pieces of espresso wood along with the chunky beads and the blue round beads. This is the length. This is pretty much as short as it gets. It could be shortened just a little bit more. So this is like a lower abdomen necklace or maybe mid abdomen, depending on how it fits you. Let's see, it matches that. Um, yes, that is like your purple one. All right, so we have one of these necklaces. This necklace is going to be number 26. There you go. The earrings that I have coming in are the little blue discs and they're threaded on a forward facing wire hoop on a fish hook back. So those will be in next week. The bracelet is gonna be number 24 and I have two of those. All right, so those are all our pieces for tonight. We're gonna have some more for you on Sunday and then we have more coming in next week. So pretty excited about the stuff that's coming in next week. I've got two butterfly necklaces coming in next week, one long and one short. So our butterfly fans will have something to look forward to next week. And I'm still watching those spring releases because we have not gotten all of them yet. We're just getting started. This is our second spring releases. Shannon, you are the proud owner of a dragonfly necklace. So you are a winner tonight. Thank you so much for sharing out to your friends. I really appreciate that. Helps us get seen by more people. Even if the people don't buy, that's fine. The more viewers we have, the more Facebook and Instagram show us out to other people. So it helps us get more viewers. That's why I encourage the sharing. It's not so that um, all your friends will buy from me. It's just so that I can get seen by other people. So I really appreciate when you do that or when you share my posts, because that also helps Facebook to know that that's something people are interested in and it helps them, them know that they should share it with other people. So, okay, we will be back Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with some more pieces. And we'll also do a recap of some of our other spring pieces because I know not everybody got to be here tonight or Wednesday night. So I'll mix some of those in as well in case you didn't see them. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Hopefully it doesn't rain all weekend and it's not too nasty. We can get some stuff done and have some fun and relax. <laughs> it's time to relax, right, ladies? All right, we'll see you all on Sunday. Have a great weekend.